Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 4. I kind of went inside the building a little early, I forgot, because I when I started the recording, I wasn't recording. Hey, back up, Piper, back up, Piper. Yeah, there is some crap going on here. Piper, Piper, I hate you. Okay, because there's these grenades here. Attention. Security breach near subway entrance. What? Visitors and employees are advised to seek cover and remain calm. The hell is this? Attention. This is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm up to end, including death if you remain in the Yeah, I'm trying to return the book. Don't worry about me. Return. I can use these tokens to purchase prizes from this machine. Sure. Already had an overdue book. Low. Clean the library of super mutants. Spend tokens. A magnifying glass. A new toy truck. I don't know the mat. What? Oh, I can actually give what's his face a baseball glove. Let's see if I can find any more tokens along here before I start messing with this. Let's go help everyone. Well, you can actually see outside too. We're at the courtyard. I like this fight zone. Attention. Security Grenade. Visitors and employees are advised to seek cover and remain calm. It's me. No. Base. Whoa, that's a dog. Yeah, I don't need no dogs to do that little horn sound. <laughs> I like the sniper, it's awesome. Ooh, sh Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like dying. It's not <clears throat> a fun pastime. All right, make sure that dog's taking a nap. You're dead. That is a lot of super. That fine, fellas. Come on, Piper, help me. Thanks, Pipe. I don't know if there's any more super mutants, but hey. Actually, how much space do I have in my inventory? I actually have a lot. I can take up some of these guns. Supreme's in here. Oops, I didn't mean to take all those. Hey, when I go home, I need to put a scope on this. Yeah, of course, I gotta take that. It's a sellable. Oh, they already hit that for me. Thanks. Cope what? Copley Station or Copley Station. Nice place. Oh wow, they killed a lot of the super mutants. I only killed like four of them.
Look at terminal. This place was kind of fun. All right. I don't know what that shares. Maybe just the S. Begs. Or B. I don't know. Which one of this B sits? All right. Hits. That's it. Bam. Change the protectatron. Protectatron control. Personality. Default. Watch him start blazing at me with the guns. Hello? That guy's just in a wheelchair. Just dead. I guess this place doesn't get a whole heck of a lot of foot traffic. Uh, no, it just did. What do you mean? You saw all the super mutants trying to take the milk of human power? I forgot what Strong called it. There's nothing in here I want. I Come on. Do I have anything I can just throw? Like a grenade, pulse grenade? Hello? You're getting hit. Thanks, Piper. Take a double injection. I'm a okay. Who would have thought? Is it downstairs? Check that out in a second. <clears throat> Who's that one? I guess I have to come back here later for a quest or something to find these guys out. So many books. I'd live in this place if it weren't for all the mutants. You too? I wouldn't. Oh, I came from this door. Surprised I didn't get shot at. I have like no ammo on my pistol. Bars now. Inspect. Studded, leaded, leather. Okay, it's just regular armor. Trying to look for some next level gear. Like the second, like the final tier leather armor or something like that. Uh, what are you I doing? The lifts in Diamond City were fancy. Ooh, intelligence nice. bobblehead. Intelligence is apparently increased by one, which means I get levels faster. What a thought. Oh, I can do master locks now. I'm gonna break a body pin doing this. Okay, it popped already. A little bit more. Ooh, first master, and I didn't break a body nice. pin. Bottle cap mine. Stealth boy. Shells. Mini Nuki, Snoop, Nook, 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 Instamaya, Shao, Berry, Strike, Fusion Cell. 
Look at that, look at that, look at that, guys. Combat armor. We got combat armor now. That's the best stuff you can get in the game. And it's not as heavy as uh, metal, I believe, right? Yeah, that's 16 pounds. And I can make this definitely better, so I'll throw that in the chest for later. Yeah, all right, we're leaving, right? No, no, we're going downstairs. I didn't see this whole downstairs area. Let me unlock this terminal first. Uh, erupt. Nope, nothing. Score. Often. Nope, it's about to lock me out. Prods. There we go. Oh, there you go. I want turns to shoot at me so I can shoot at them back. All right. Turn off the light. It's kind of bright, actually. What is this? Nothing here. There's a bunch of random junk everywhere. Guess that's it. Let's get out of here. I got a couple missions to do to return. Oh yeah, level 20. We're at the level where we can start getting combat armor. I think that's level 15. And as you get more higher level, it gets more common. But I don't think I'll ever see raiders wearing combat armor. Because since they're raider bums, you're never going to see it. Trade craft. Okay, we're not doing trade craft. Yeah, it's railroad stuff. A lot of seller quests I'm gonna have to do. Um, let's return to Daisy. Yeah, we can start talking to the people at uh. Here. We started talking to people at Good Night Bar. <clears throat> I gotta talk to that ghoul guy. What's his name? Good neighbor, huh? You <clears throat> gonna get stoned or stabbed? Now, I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh, he wishes. Where is she? <laughs> All right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. He's not loading in. Let me load back out here and load back in on the map. Because he didn't really load in. One of the great mysteries of this game. Go ahead. Good neighbor. Hopefully he loaded in properly. Good neighbor, huh? You looking to get stoned or stabbed? Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Is he really at the spawning? Hancock says newcomers are. Welcome in the third rail. I know what the third rail is, but I'm trying to see if Hancock would spawn. Where is Hancock? You're back. How'd it go? Hancock did not spawn in. Vault suit, huh? Hell yeah. Yeah? That's stupid. Anyways. Daisy. Finish that job yet? Boston Public Library clear of those mutants? 
have any credits? The library computer said I earned some kind of credit? Oh, right. I remember that. They used to pay kids to round up the old library books, since they had so much trouble with people returning them. Guess if you found more books, you'll get more credit. Buy whatever prizes the machines still have in them. Speaking of which, it sounds like you finished the job. Thanks for your help. That library deserves to be left in peace. All right, public knowledge. 400 XP. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. Let's go to Old go State home. House. <clears throat> Look for Hancock. Hopefully, he's not freaking. I heard you walked that freedom trail. What, you some kind of. What do they call it? Is three buff? Your lady friend there. She's the dame who writes public occurrences, right? Good stuff. I always did appreciate good investigative journalism. Heard that, Piper? Buddy, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. <laughs> These guys are funny. Uh, who lives in this old state house? Fudge. I didn't even leave. Can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? I don't know. She synth up. I don't know. Smell that? That's freedom. Freedom trail? Nah. <clears throat> Vault suit, huh? Classy. Put some of Hancock's here, because I don't want to have any trouble. Nice cell. With that TV dinner plate. Come down, Piper. I go up the stairs, hopefully Hancock somewhere in here. I can see his face. You sticking around, you thank you. Crew. I hear Bobby No Nose is looking. Always a catch with the no nos. But she pays. Talk to Bobby. Talk to Bobby No Nose. I click save. What is this? What the hell is this place? What's a drifter low up in the roof? I mean the What's the word I live in Florida so you don't see so much attics? Fred Allen at the Hotel Rexford. He can hook you up with Kim. Fahrenheit. Right, the memory a new player. She offers a whole other class Hello, of drugs. Hello, Welcome to our fun and games. Hello. Hi. You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Oh, you got burned. We didn't get to the top of this town by playing fair. Too bad about Finn. I'm gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, what's not to love about immortality? You're immortal? You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? Uh, 
That's incredible. You're a hell of a risk taker, Hancock. Only have one life. Why not try it all? Anyway, did you need something else? Good neighbor? Tell me more about this town of yours. Good neighbor. It's all about the people, understand? They're freaks, misfits, and troublemakers. And that's why I love them. Everyone here lives their own life, their own way. No judgments. Now, was there anything else? The Institute. Did I hear you talking about the Institute? You like my little speech? I do it every once in a while in case they're listening in. I want those synth makers to know that Good Neighbor is off limits. No one gets replaced in my town. But hey, weren't we talking about your needs? What did you come here for? <clears throat> Boy, Why does the Institute replace people? Hell if I know. Mess with people's heads, control us from the shadows, or maybe they do it just because they can. No one knows where the Institute is, what kind of people they are, or why they've decided to engineer their own slaves. But there it is. Just to be clear, everyone's welcome and good neighbor. I don't care if you're a synth, ghoul, or even a super mutant, so long as you play nice. And let All me right. tell you, synth still under the Institute's control, don't play nice. Done talking about this. What else you need? Work. Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. Ask for money. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Okay. Ooh. Usual job pays 200, but I like you. So let's push it to 250. I can't risk it. Pikmin Gallery? What else can you tell me about Pikmin Gallery? Nothing. That's why I'm paying you to go out there. Okay. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Hey, hey can I borrow? Talk. Piper. Hey. Point the way. So, Talk. you know, going over it in my head, oh, the whole shoot. conversation we had where I pretty much said you were my only friend, did that sound nuts? Uh, not really. No. Uh, no. No. It was nice to hear. Whoa. You just always know what to say, don't you? It's just been a long time since I've had someone like you in my life. Hell, might be I never did. I just wanted to say thanks. I really don't think I could ask for a better friend. Uh, feel the same here. I feel the same way. There's no one I'd rather have watching my back. And I'll be there for you. As long as you'll have me. Now, come on. Let's hit the road. The heck? Wait a minute. Hey. Shoot. Talk. Hey, Piper. Hey, here. Something to keep sharp. Always worked for me. Gum. Thoughts? Your thoughts? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until... Thoughts? Your thoughts? I'd rather know an ugly truth than... Uh-huh. Watch your old stuff. Is everything all right between us, Piper? Well, unless you've got some objections you're not raising, I'd say we're about as good as good can be. Thoughts? Your thoughts? We'll make something of the compliment. Uh huh. Your thoughts? Nothing stays hidden. Your thoughts? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Your thoughts? There's a story here. Right. Your thoughts? <laughs> How the hell did someone like me luck out and find some? Your thoughts? Most Hello. Most folks are just looking. Your thoughts? Used to feel like I was the only one who saw the comp. All right. Your thoughts? Nice being on the move again. I was waiting for a thing to black out again. Your thoughts? Huh, hard to believe I'm. Never mind. That's all for now. Sure. I mean, I messed up on the romance thing several times, but it's fine. What we pals now? If I shoot the breeze, take a walk. Lol. <clears throat> he did not like yeah. you. Let's take a walk outside. You know what I'm saying? Take a walk. A quick little two-step over here. Over here. Is that gallery here? Hey, you. 
looking for work? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for work. Yeah, when can I start? Well, aren't you an eager beaver? If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? Payment. You can do better than that. Trust me, there will be much more later on. Just take the 50 caps. Dang, okay. More of that? I'm gonna need more to go on here. You're just gonna have to trust me. Okay. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. That's what Let's I like to hear. Side. Oh shit. I'll give you the lowdown. Dang, Bobby. Shit, that door locked like that. <laughs> I'll give you the lowdown. Come inside, I'm Bobby. Where is she? I'm not trying to look for Barbie. Doesn't look a day past 199. Where did Bobby go? Hey, Bobby. Where are you, Bobby? Bobby, don't tell me up on the roof, Bobby. I've been looking, Bobby. Bobby is not. Bye bye. Where are you, Bye bye. Bye bye. Where are you, Bye bye. I've been looking for you. Bye bye. Is she downstairs? Yeah, she's downstairs, Bobby. The hell is that? It's an underground tunnel. Ready to get to work. Shh. Um, what are you are doing? Are you going to tell me what we're actually doing? Look, we're pulling a job here. Big payoff. Taking some things that aren't technically ours yet. Sounds ambitious. Sounds ambitious. It is. And that's why we need some help. You are going to be doing some digging. What's buried? What are we digging for? Buried treasure? You could call it that. But seriously, lay off the questions. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will you? Join the dig, lol. Um. Why are you doing Bobby's quest? Might as well just join it. Let's go. The dig. Get through. Want to see this water? Oh, yeah. No, oh, that's radiated. I thought it was actually good water. No, it's just radiated. It's crawling with my alerts. Fail. Bobby can take this job and shove it. Good luck down there, new guy. Lol. You guys will fight my alerts? Pretty fun. Hey, something's found them and they do not look. I know. They're Meyer. My alerts. Hey, get off me. You're blocking the path, Piper. Yeah, screw that. You're gonna deal with him, Piper. Piper, where are you? Dude, he hurts. He hurts! Piper! Piper, I hate you! This is normal for other journalists. Where the hell Piper went? Oh, there was the stairs. I was looking for the stairs. Dude, everything just hurts. A lot of health, actually. I gotta make sure to break those eggs. You don't want them to pop open and have their uh, ooey gooey little children just. Trying to screw me. I really feel a novice lock. I can do a master lock without breaking it, but I can feel a novice lock because I turn the key. Uh, it's funny. 
Oh yeah, we don't talk to Bobby. We're breaking the Mylark eggies. Hear that? What is this? I don't know. Looks like Bobby's trying to plan a great heist into the old world. Uh, what is going on in my tunnel? Well, no knows Bobby. Uh, no plan. That room was filled with Mire Lurks. Why didn't you plan for this? Huh, this was not expected. But that doesn't mean I don't have a plan. It's going to take a lot more than a couple Mire Lurks to stop me. Then go in there. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. Whoa. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Less money? That means less caps for me. Yes, it does. There's still plenty to go around in that strong room. Don't you worry. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. All right, talk to meet Bobby in Diamond City. That lady's crazy, and she's charging me, uh, not even an arm and a leg. You should, she's charging me an arm and a leg. Basically, I'm not getting paid anything. 50 caps to shoot up some Mylarks. Almost got killed by a legendary. I want some combat armor. Alright, we talked to Bobby. Now let's continue on. Hello? Looking at? Let's go into the third rail, check this out. Uh. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Can I take that? Nope. <clears throat> Entertainments down the stairs. Entertainment? Oh gosh. Oh, the same. Some crappy entertainment. Let's go. Piper, get blocking the way. Like an earthquake, starting to roll. I felt my world shake. Out of control, like a world. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? Oh, just a cabaret club. God, I love this song. Yes? Who's McCready? Don't have no handouts. Hello? We got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Huh. Who's the singer? Who's the singer? That is Magnolia. Flower of the third rail. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now, you gonna order? No. Third rail? The third rail. Is this your place? What? Nah, God. Place is Hancock's. Oh, Charlie just keeps the floor clean. The drink's dirty. Hey. <laughs> so, you're buying a what? The drink's dirty. <laughs> Hancock. So Hancock's the owner? That's right. Owner and mayor of this whole bloody town. Trust me, never get on his bad side. Stay clear of his bodyguard. Fahrenheit? So what's your poison? Hand bodyguard. a bodyguard? Yeah. A redhead with the condescending stare. Trust me, Cub, something about her ain't right. Not that I'd ever admit saying that. I'm trying to sell drinks here. You in? No. Good neighbor? What's the word around town? Say there's a newcomer around here who doesn't understand that I'm a bartender, not a damn new spot. <laughs> now, are you gonna drink? No. Maybe later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the same line. Real quick. You're gonna talk to someone. Huh? Let's see. Hi, Piper Wright with Public Occurrences. Question for you. What's the brisk trade these days in Good Neighbor? Jet? Psycho? Mentats? Brisk trade? I don't know. Food's pretty popular. You got any? Uh, I might have something. Uh, yeah. Here. 
Lol. Huh? Hey, Edward. You and you <clears throat> and You'll find you. I'm very yes. persistent. And we'll be right back. Do I know you? Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. Reward? I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Alright, special delivery. Talk to Mongolia. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. Who wrote it? I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? What do you think? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? <laughs> I'm going to be funny. I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. <laughs> it's tempting, but unfortunately I'm married to the stage. Hello? You didn't see nothing, Piper? Magnolia. Hello again. I was going to be yeah, funny. Do for you? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. Something else I can help you with? More about you? What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into <clears> town like any songbird does, on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Oh. Was there anything else? White Chapel, White Chapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it? Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? Your best. Come on. Tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? You really want to know? It's all in the songs. Everything I am. Now, can I help you with anything else? Nothing. Nothing. I'll leave you to it. Well, you know where to find me. Hey, hey chap. I'll forever hold your damn mouth shut. Sure. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's the drowning solos. Uh... I buy a nuke. Actually, let me sell some crap to you. Glut fungus, Myler eggs. Actually, these aren't worth anything. Except, you know, what? let me buy a beer just to be funny. Now that you're licked up, got a proposition for you. Well, I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? Details. 
I want to hear the details first. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch? It's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. And don't worry. I'll know when it is. Lol. Ask for money. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A and lot a lot of bullets. bullets. Listen here, you. I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie with no iron gun. Now the client's offering 200 for the job. Who's the client? I don't do work. Unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gov. Not like it's a big secret who I represent. Yeah, Mayor Hancock is fronting the okay. caps. Internal political struggle. You know how it is. Look, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Just clear out the warehouses and get paid. Simple. All right, all right. Yes, 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 all right. I'll get it done. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Piper just likes that. Fine, Pipey. You step Fine. through the gate. You got balls. Yes. Chill. I can hear your voice. Can't say you sound like a dirt bike. To find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your blood ounce to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Winlock and Barnes? Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. It's how it goes when you run with the Gunners. Hmm. Gunners? I've heard of the Gunners. Who are they? One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. A case of gang. for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but... I never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Suspicious. Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approached me. Suspicious. Frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the <clears throat> Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything in chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? Risk. Hold on. What kind of risk are you talking about? I already told you way too much. I need to learn to keep my big mouth shut. Look, I'm tired of playing 20 questions. So I'll cut you a deal right now. 250 caps. Up front. And there's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Take less. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? Something wrong with your hearing? I just told you I'm not going to negotiate. So are you in or should I get back to my drink? Think about Let me it. think about it. It's not like the meter's running. Take your time. I got plenty. Make quick save. I don't know what. You still looking about. for work, McCready? That depends. You ready to fork over two hundred and fifty caps? Sure. You've got a deal. Now you're speaking my language. All right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. Oh, cancel. Heads up. What's up? Talk. What do you want? The hell is this? Quick save. That was it. Sure. 
I think he's missing you. Yeah, what is it? <clears throat> What's up? Dismissing you. We should go our separate ways. I think you're making a huge mistake. Right. You change your mind. A sanctuary. Play your cards right, and we stand to make a whole lot of money. Piper, 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 Piper. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Yeah, I'm picking you back up. Let's go. Sure, let's go. Will do. He's going to sanctuary. Aren't you going to your free, man? Your dude. Peace, brother. Hey. Go and talk to Jack. Then we can get down to business. Yeah. All right. Let's keep walking around. We'll have his ass go to. Uh. Hello. Hey there. I toss out the troublemakers. You keep that in mind. Yeah. Oh, what's his face? That's weird. The Diamond City. Good noodles. Bunch of assholes, though. Good noodles. Good you get noodles. Into trouble. It's your own damn fault. Watch yourself. Watch yourself, man. Watch yourself. What is this for again? Oh wow, these are all in town. Memory Den. Let's check out Memory Den. Let's see what's in here. What is this? Another store shop. The fuck? What the hell is this place? It's a register. Who is that old lady? You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Hello? Ahem. Good neighbors crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Escape? Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12 pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud versus Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listened to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Listen to war? My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. From the past. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Vomitable from episode 83. Try to remember. Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days... Must take some getting used to. Glimmers of hope. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. Okay. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Plan? What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Hello? silver shroud. Funny thing is, I have that in my inventory right now. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Reward? I might do it if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. <laughs> Just promise you'll help me. All right, you really need it. Do you really need the costume? With the gun, I'm just another armed hooligan. But if the silver shroud came to life and helped people, it would give everyone hope. All right, I already got that a long time ago. Reward? I might do it if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise you'll help me. Already have it. As it happens, 
I already have your costume. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. What's the, what's the, uh, what's the plan? What are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. May reward. First the reward, then I'll give you the costume. Here. I wasn't going to Welsh on our deal. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvi Blake, but the Shroud is strong, capable. Hand over costume. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. Don't you say up for me. being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all. Why me? Why me? You helped me out when everyone else just laughed at me. And you're from the olden days, just like me. You know how much things have fallen, how much we got to fight for to make the place better. Oh, he so started the better. Uh, sure. Looks like I get to be the shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Refuse. No, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. That's a lot of damage protection though. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Okay, can I reload? Please let me reload. I, I don't <laughs> I don't want to be the Silver Shroud. <laughs> That's more crap on my thing. Oh, Matt, be in the Silver Shroud. I'm going to fuse that offer after I get my paid. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Excuse me. Good neighbor's crazy. Dabs, murder. All right, escape. Reliving my you have a What can you tell me about the shroud? He's from the radio. He's the All right. What can you tell me about the shroud? He's from the uh, He's the best. Sure. My family and I You mean mm Hmm. In the past? I was in Oh man. Remember? Wasn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, if you just Glimmer of hope. It seems like Maybe it's What if this uh -huh. I got a plan to bring him to life. Good, Good for you. on you for trying to I've heard crazier plans to do. I just have to do I've built my own butt to make in the action. Reward? I might do it. When you're done, I got a reward all squared away. Already As have it. Happened. There she is. And remember. Uh huh. Mayor Ward. The rule. Here. Uh huh. After all the. Uh huh. That's halfway cap for that. Leaving yourself. Come on. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea. You up for being the Silver Shroud? Nope. I'm not dressing up in tights, pal. It's not like I'm asking you to dress up as Grognek the Barbarian. I'll be here if you change your mind. And damn it, I have to take it anyway, so whatever. Let me just take it. Kent. You ready to help? The bad guys aren't going to defeat themselves. I'm going to sell it Silver Shroud armor, too. Silver Shroud. Come the Shroud. I'm in, Kent. That's just uh -huh. the costume and gun of yours. Right. Uh here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way everyone knows the silver shroud has returned. Time to fight crime. He triggers me. Kent. We're gonna make this a decent place to live again. I should have just shoot you. But I can't. I mean I could. But I can't. Oh, stairs. I was looking around, see if there's any other people. I don't see. I'm not busy. What is it? it seems to be a, a, a ladies' thing, because you can tell. It's a back room, dressing room area. We need the key. No, you don't need the key. It's called kick it in. Let's talk to whoever is down here. Dr. Amari. Dr. Amari. Before you ask, 
I wasn't responsible for the decor, so I don't want to hear it. I have a lot of very precise work to do. What do you want? I want to talk to you. Talk to Irma. The memory den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Irma. Oh, enjoying yourself and good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it? Okay, doctor. You like the decor? My business partner hates it. Says she's not the fun type. Where did the memory loungers come from, you ask? <laughs> well, a girl's gotta have her secrets. Someone's gonna tell me to come in here anyways later, probably. Don't bother asking me how the memory loungers work. I don't have time to teach the years of neurophysiology. It would take you. The neurophysiology to take on the sound? No, no, no. <clears throat> mm. All right, I think we have one more building. Before I start hitting up these back corners. Mm, smell that? Your hair does not That's fit you. Freedom. That smells like drug. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Hotel B4. Rexford, sorry. Fred, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. Hey it's there. Not all about You're new around good neighbors, if I'm not mistaken. It's not all what do you about think of the sampling place? those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can... It changed. It's what? changed a lot since Where's the last time I was here. Been here before. Well, good neighbors definitely come up in the past few years. Mostly since Hancock took over. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running. Sell a bit of scrap. That sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. Sure. Could use work? I could use work, depending on what it is. Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. What with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. Ask for money. I assume this is a paying job. Wasn't planning on stiffing you. A hundred caps and a cut of the beer. Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? Sure, I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. Trouble brewing. I like that. I like that trouble a brewing. Hello, Fred. <laughs> what are you doing, Baldo? Oh man, someone new. You need some jet, man? Home brewed, reasonable prices. Jet? Looking for work. You have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's got to be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. Ask for money. Your offer's a little low, Fred. Oh, I see where this is going. Job's going to be 200 caps, no haggling. All right. All right, Fred. We have a deal. You're the best. The absolute best. Bring a hallucinogen cans and a store to Freddy. Use a freaking chem drug dealer. He's Breaking Bad Part 2. Hey, you find that brew machine yet? Or are you just <coughs> here looking for scrap? I just clean up around. Okay, let's talk to that lady now. She's the last one. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have room. 
I found a password. Be quiet. I can't use one it. room specifically. Payment due up. This place ain't what it used to be. Hello. It ain't used to be much. Spare me any sob stories. This is a hotel, not a charity, and we insist on full payment for the room. No discounts, no exceptions. Hotel Rexford, can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? The Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. But now the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up chems. So, still want a room? Who's the owner? Who owns this place? Mr. Morowski. Oh, you should have seen him in his day. This place used to be flowing with high-end Kim's beautiful clients, and oh, the parties. Mm. Now he just stews in the back office and disgraces his parents' memory. I swear, if they knew how far he's fallen, they'd die all over again. Well. So why don't you rent a room before I get worked up? Morowski? Tell me more about this Morowski character. Oh, why bother? He's worthless. The other big names caught him with his pants down, and now he just has this ratty hotel. Hello? That's the way good neighbor operates. The strong make it to the top until someone stronger kicks them down. Now, are you buying this room or not? What's your story? Tell me a bit about yourself, Claire. I have been working in this hotel for over 40 years, and this is not how I imagined spending my retirement. Now are you done being nosy or are you getting a room? No. No, not interested. Then leave. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end it right here. I'll be right back.